Okay guys, we're going to jump right into the video. I'm starting off with a clean face. What I use to clean my face is the Murad Exfoliant Cleanser. And now we're going to go ahead and move into primer. The primer I'm using for today is the Smashbox Phono Finish. And I'm going to work that all the way into my problem areas. We are going to move right into foundation. I've been loving the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation. I'm in the color 338, and I'm gonna make sure I work that foundation all over. I really enjoy this foundation because I deal with a lot of problem issues as far as the discoloration, dry skin, oily skin in the summer. My skin's just a mess and out of control. But as you can see, I'm just going to work this foundation all over into my skin, onto my ear, all the way down my neck. You want to make sure you blend it very, very well so nobody can clock you, boo. Because that's what we're trying to make sure. Nobody can tell that you got foundation on. Next are brows, and I'm going to do them off camera, but I use the Benefit Brow Wiz in 3.5. Now we're going to go ahead and start working into concealer. I'm going to be using my Sephora concealer. I'm in the shade 13, and I'm going to put that where I have a lot of discoloration. I'm going to make sure I'm, I place it in places where I would like to highlight as well. Now it's time to set, and I like to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm going to use that as a setting powder today to lock in everything that I want locked in. I'm also going to put an additional layer just so if I have any fallout from my eyeshadows that I can, you know, easily dust that away without all eyeshadows being on my foundation and seeping into my skin. Because, girl, you don't want that. You surely don't. So now I'm just going to add some concealer onto my eye to act as a base. I just need something sticky so my eyeshadows can stick to my eyes and be popping and beautiful. So now I'm going to use the It's My Ray Ray palette I got from BH Cosmetics. I really like this palette. So now I'm going to start off with Pancake and I'm just going to put it all over my eyelid as a transition color. I really love this transition color. I think that's like my go-to transition color. Um, as I'm going to continue to use a fluffy brush and just work it in there or what I consider a fluffy brush. I'm going to make sure I get it all in there. Work it in there, girl. And now I'm just going to pick up mousse and I'm going to work that into my outer corner of my eye. Just to make it a little smoky, not too smoky. Um, but I really like this. I describe it as like a light brown chocolatey color, but I really do love this color. Now I'm going to pick up Spice and I'm going to put that on my lid just for a pop of color. I really, really love this color. It's a nice little color. It's kind of like a burnt orange, I would kind of describe it. And I love that for the fall time because, you know, we want these fall vibes, girl. Now 
Now I'm going to pick up Fairy Tail and I'm going to place that right over top of the spice. Um, I really love the glitter effect that it gives. Well, Fairy Tail does have glitter in it, but I love the additional color it adds to the eye. I think it looks very beautiful, especially for fall. Next, I'm going to take a NYX black pencil and line my waterline. And then I'm also going to take another NYX product, the NYX Eye Liquid Line, and line the top part of my eye. Um, off camera, I did go ahead and um, do some mascara. However, I didn't film it, but I'm getting better, I promise, guys. So now I'm just going to go ahead and dust the loose powder and any fallout from under my eyes off. And now we're moving on to contour and highlight. I'm going to go ahead and use the True Complexion Contour Palette in light to medium to contour and highlight. And y'all, this highlighter in here, people be sleeping on this highlighter though. But for my complexion, that thing be looking right So for lipstick today, I took one of my favorite lipsticks, and that's the Trophy Wife Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that onto my lips. And then, of course, off camera, I sprayed myself with one of my favorite setting sprays, and that is the NYX Setting Spray. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the look, you know, take some cute pictures. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else from me. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.